You may know a witch doctor, or claim to be a medicine man. Perhaps he may have tried to sell you your own personal mile of the only yellow brick road. Maybe you have been a victim of, or claim to be yourself, the one and only almighty medicine man. And he may just cast a spell on you. So do not take from this man's medicine, for it is not the top show. So if you like paying more and getting less, and the quality's just not there, just go on ahead. But before you do, just go ahead and ask yourself, do I want to be like these guys? Wait a minute, why are you guys dressed like that? And what's in the back? And where's the real medicine, man? Um, yeah, well, about that, uh, come this way, I'll show you. Though he might ride a white horse, and his son may look similar to this guy, I advise him, he does not know the witch doctor. So before you partake in any of his powwows, or believe any of his witchery, assure yourself a seat at the big house. Kiss your soul goodnight. Cause although he may look like Bill Jack and have a spectacular Sundance, the devil is beautiful and enticing and would love to help you help yourself into the little hole you're in. I don't care if she's helpless or if she just strategically draws out a plan. I can assure you that the only tribal affiliation that they have is send a donation. Hell, their website is probably even sellout.com. So if it's too good to be true, it probably is, and there's probably a price to be paid. And although they take check, credit, debit, keys to the car, uncut, diamonds, spoiled, rotten kids, any form of cash will do, they claim their works are miracles from God. Yet, all their friends are homeless on the street trying to panhandle for money. And they swear the results don't lie. And they even have all these rabbits in their hat. With all their magic, sorcery, and witchery, they can do anything. So send all my good works to all the white women in Cali. Hell, it's probably these white women who convinced that cowboy that he was some kind of medicine man and that we need some kind of color for every direction. And the only stop will be my house, just eight at a time now, cause I got an ATM in each one of my teepees. Be sure to stop by your local Ticketmaster and pick up your VIP pass today. And tell 10 friends to tell 10 friends that you know this guy. So, before you're convinced and you stand outside of this picket fence and decide you want to sign up for this pipe dream, I would at least peek through the picket fence just to find the, hey man, wait a minute, there ain't nothing here. It was all hogwash. I heard there was teepees the size of skyscrapers and that all my problems would be resolved. In fact, I was gonna seek some kind of psychiatric help or higher power. Yet, everybody they associate with seems like a hope. And they claim they have this pipeway to success. Yet, they're always taking out their own trash and complaining about how everybody else is trash. They come off so spiritual and they seem so down to earth, yet they just always seem to be taking out the trash. It's like a never ending vicious circle. You'll never really get to the bottom of it or really figure out their scheme. Hell, who knows what they're even really after. But beware, because their works are real. And next thing you know, you'll be needing an exorcism if you're lucky. So go ahead and just take a look at the world around you all the lives we live in and just know and be grateful 
for this world and time we live in, this information age. So whoever your god may be, race or religion, pride or greed, cast no spells, enchant no evil, for we will all have to answer to those words one day. Hell, for one thought could possess our future in 10 years. Every race has their own religion. Hell, I wouldn't try to feed some kind of heroin addict, some kind of crack or something. <laughs> So I'm not going to try to convince this guy I can kick Bruce Lee's ass or something. And I'm definitely not going to try to sell him some pipe dream. So I advise you to beware of the wicked witch doctor. And thanks.